What's up everybody, I'm Sheed. Welcome back to FIFA World Ultimate Team. Last time we bought a lot of players and we started building our team half Serie A, half Bundesliga. And this episode, we're just gonna head into the first match because we don't have enough coins to buy a new player. And we face this amazing team with two I'm out of the match cards. Rooney, Tevez up front, Chiellini, Thiago Silva uh, in defense, and then Dani Alves, David Alaba uh, in, uh, at the fullback positions. And this guy actually gets the first opportunity here. I don't know what I was doing, but that is atrocious defending on my part. And I get very lucky to not concede a goal very early on. I do get lucky here. And uh, that pretty much sums up uh, my team. I only wanted to show you that because that's Armero, my fullback. Now, David Alaba and Dani Alves, his fullbacks, can finish probably better than my strikers can. So, I knew that this game I had to be on my toes and not give him any space whatsoever. Look at Cuadrado here. He turns and spins around. My opponent is way too impatient in defense and Cuadrado inside the box he's fake shots and then I don't know why but that shot was just pure roller heaven and then halftime stats show that I am dominating this guy despite his amazing team and I play a 1-2 here Ibarbo gets the ball back Ibarbo is under the pressure but Ibarbo slots it underneath the goalkeeper to put me 1-0 uh, in front and uh, this guy was getting um, more impatient by the minute and uh, obviously he is a good team he probably deserved I pr he probably thought that he deserves to get a goal. I get very, uh, I don't get lucky, I get very good defending there. And then holy mother of through balls, Ibarbo is through. He passes it across to Ramos. And Ramos, I'm going to take as many touches I, as I need to, to make sure that that's a goal. Because I don't trust FIFA World finishing for a second. So I'm not just going to shoot it first time from the sweaty pass. Uh, basically, FIFA World just makes you be a lot more sweaty than you are. And, um... My player does get, my opponent rather, does get a goal back with Ayu here in the 90th minute. After the the pass back, he tried abusing the wins the entire game and, and then it finally worked out for him. But it was still a little too late and I win this match against the best team I probably faced so far. And then Chesney has finally sold which means we'll have more money to spend on our team right now. But instead I decide to do this and I need to explain why I do this. Well in FIFA 13 Ultimate Team, at the start of the Ultimate Team I actually made a lot of money just by opening bronze packs because from the contracts and stuff you get in it you're always pro almost always gonna get your money back at least and then if you get a fitness card you're probably you're basically doubling your money and um, especially in FIFA world where fitness cards are very very scarce and they're very expensive right now but unfortunately it doesn't go as well as I was uh, hoping it would and uh, we don't we I think I barely made my money back from those two bronze packs but then we go into the second match of this episode and this guy doesn't have a bad team at all, He his record wasn't the greatest, but uh, this guy's problem, as you can see on the top, uh, on the bottom left, is his stamina. Every single one of his players had little to no stamina, they desperately needed a gay raid, and um, he does get an opportunity here, he actually hits the post, and then I clear it in my own player, and it goes for a corner. Luckily, nothing came from the corner, but I play the 1-2 pass here with Ramos, Ramos is through, and I'm going to make sure that's a goal, and still... It's not a goal because FIFA World finishing sucks. Like, it's really, really annoying me. Some people in the comments apparently are saying it's because, and as I miss again, it's because there is no spin on the ball, especially when you finish shot. It's supposed to curl around the goalkeeper, but it doesn't, and which makes shooting very iffy in this game. But I do get the first goal of this match with Ibarbo, the rebound after, after Pjanic's great one, and I'm telling you guys, Pjanic, one of the best players in this team, probably one of the two best players in this team next to Juan Cadrado, and um... We get another goal here with Ramos after the counter, but basically this guy, when I noticed that he had very, very low chemistry, I thought I need to play patient because eventually this guy's players will just not be able to run anymore and I'm gonna get um, a lot of opportunities, which I did. He barbed in the 90th minute, he, he dead fishes him after putting us 3-0 in front, which is what it finishes. I dominated this guy and I'm on 13 points in Division 7 right now. But after this match, I, you know, I thought I do not want to end up like that guy, not have stamina when I'm playing against uh, very good opponents. And I actually have to buy one fitness card for a Victor Ibarbo there. And uh, fitness cards are very damn expensive in this game. But then we have enough coins to buy Abate for the right back position. And he is my favorite right back in the... Uh, in FIFA basically and not just because of his pace but mainly because of his pace he's just good guys he's just strong he has good crossing and obviously very pacey so then we go into the third match of this episode last match 
we uh, we faced a pretty bad opponent, but this guy has a full Brazilian team with Bernard and public enemy number one in uh, in Brazil, Fred. Uh, good old Yabba Dabba Doo. Uh, he's slow, he's, <laughs> in my opinion, he shouldn't be in the Brazil national team. But look at that, he cuts inside with Bernard and he skies the crap out of that shot. And I was pleased to see that I'm not the only one uh, struggling with FIFA World Shooting. But this actually, this match actually just ends uh, nil to nil. This was a pretty good opponent, like, um, he closed me down pretty well. I've had the most uh, shots in this match and possession, but I still couldn't finish it. But we're gonna get a draw, uh, it's always better than obviously losing. And then we still some, some, um, junk after that and unfortunately again we cannot buy a new player because we need fitness cards we we buy three fitness cards for gold gold ones at that so we spend 1800 coins on fitness card and we, fitness cards and uh, guys i know it's painful i know it's a pain in the ass but you have to do it if you don't want to end up like my second opponent from this uh, episode you have to always watch your fitness and i actually apply it to everyone um except i believe armero because i, I just didn't have enough for armero and uh, we just go into the last match of this episode. I actually, even though we've already played three, I decided I only need three more points to win the division title. I do not want to make you wait until the next episode to do so. But we face this, oh my god, amazingly sweaty team with Musa, Dumbia up front, Emmanuelson, and the Uruguayan Ramirez on the wings. Uh, basically, a lot of pace in front, up front, but um, Ramos gets the very first opportunity here after he cuts inside with the fake shot, but he cannot again finish. And uh, Cuadrado here plays Ibarbo 3, Barbo has the pace and some strength, pass it across to Ramos, and Ramos obviously is gonna miss it because that's how it is. Halftime stats, I'm dominating, this, I'm dominating this guy, but I need my 3 points to end the episode on a good note. Juan Cuadrado gets his first goal for my club, I think that's the first goal, and um, my favorite player in this team by far. And then Pjanic, I'm telling you guys, both in Herzegovina, viewers that have been telling me to get Pjanic, you, you guys are right, Pjanic is, is the boss in this game. And um, we hit the poster, unfortunately we cannot make it 2-0, and then I probably should have passed it across the ground back to Bender. My opponent completely lost the plot here, and he actually gets himself uh, sent off, he gets the Uruguayan Ramirez sent off. I have to say that, because otherwise you have to you think of the Chelsea Ramirez. But anyway, he, he basically just uh, slide, slid tackle everywhere, but it does finish 1-0, I only win by one goal again, because FIFA World matches, that's how they are. And then uh, we win the Division 7 title. We get 5,000 coins, so we now have 6k to spend uh, on new players. Hopefully not fitness cards, but you'll see who I buy in the next episode. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Leave a like if you did. I've been Shay. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.